Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the radius of the semicircle in this given figure. And moreover, in this given right triangle ABC, the segment AB is 12 units, as you can see on this side. And the length of the segment BC is 5 units. And here is our very first step. Let's focus on this right triangle ABC. And here I copy down that triangle, right triangle ABC. And in this right triangle, we are going to figure out the length of this side AC. For that purpose, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's a Pythagorean theorem. If I call this side an A, this side B, and this longest leg side C, then the Pythagorean theorem is A square plus B square equal to C square. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square where our a value is 5 units, b is 12, and we are going to calculate the value of c. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a square is going to be simply 5 square, and b square is 12 square equal to c square. 5 square is 25 plus 12 square is 144 equal to c square which gives us c square equal to 169. And if we take the square root on both sides, so c is going to be equal to 13 units. So that's our value. c value is 13 units. That means the length of this side ac is 13 units and now our next step we are going to focus on this semicircle let's call this the center of this semicircle i'm going to call it m and if you look at this side ac this is a tangent line on this semicircle let's call this point n where this is touching this uh, circle and now let's go ahead and connect these two points m n and that is going to be our radius r and we know that this radius r and this tangent line ac are always perpendicular to each other that means this angle is going to be 90 degree and here is much nicer figure right up here now let's focus on this highlighted part in this diagram. As we can see that uh, these line segment NC and BC are tangents to this circle. So according to this two tangents theorem, these two line segments are going to be congruent. So congruent means same in shape and size. So therefore, this side NC is going to be five units as well. So thus our, this line segment NC is going to be five units. And we know that the AC is 13 units and NC is five. That means this segment AN is going to be 8 units. That means 13 minus 5 is going to be 8 units. So thus our line segment AN equals to 8 units. And here is our final step. Here I wrote down that this triangle a and M is similar to triangle ABC. Why? Because both of these triangles share this angle A 
and also we can see this angle N and angle B are same 90 degrees and therefore this is going to be angle M is going to be same as angle C so therefore these two triangles are similar so therefore we can write these one as proportion as I can write R divided by this 8 in the smaller triangle I can write R divided by 8 equals to this bigger triangle ABC 5 divided by 12 all right let's go ahead and multiply by 8 on both side to isolate R this 8 and 8 is gone so we ended up with R equal to 40 over 12 we can reduce it by dividing both sides by 4 so R turns out to be 10 divided by 3 so thus our radius turns out to be R equal to 10 over 3 or approximately equal to 3.33 units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.